And we're the second semi-final here. So, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señores y señoras, it is the second semi-final, it is Die Star against Ukraine Star, so we have um, Battle of the Stars, so you can practically call this Star Wars. I just made it up myself, pretty good, eh? <laughs> and uh, we have Die Star here spawning um, as the um, Purple Terran player on the um, 9 o'clock position, we have Ukraine Star. Spanish Ukraine star and dice. I'm still thinking this is absolutely hilarious. Anyway, um, dice uh, Ukraine star is spawning as the blue zerg here at the three o'clock. So we have cl cross positions on Metalopolis. Uh, Ukraine star can be happy about this dice star. Just needs to make her up. I think. I mean, I know a couple of Terran players saying, oh, as soon as you're cross positions on Metalopolis, it gets very, very hard. But uh, those, uh, most of the times, Terrans who just stay on two bases and go for a nice timing attack, uh, timing attack not willing to uh, go for some um, heavy mech-oriented play. So, yeah, that's my personal opinion on that. And, um... So, Marines by Die Star moving out. Let's open up the production tab. We see uh, Ukraine Star having a lot of Zerklings already and even 12, uh, 14 more Zerklings in production. And uh, the decision of Ukraine Star to raise some Zerklings might be questionable, but it looks like he just wanted to uh, repel this. A um, couple of marines are there because uh, he just should have rated 10 more seconds from now on because then the metabolic boost kicks in and with a metabolic boost there uh, it should be no problem to deal uh, quite some damage there and now the metabolic boost finished he is moving out so let's follow those circlings around a little bit more to see how much damage they will be able to do but Yes, he decides to move back instead. So, um, Dive Star, who went for the relatively fast expansion, will finish with his orbital command in 20 seconds. So, in 20 seconds, he will uh, lift it off, land it here at his natural, so he will be able to um, get some more economy up and running because uh, the harvest account is already telling us that their Ukraine star is ahead and he is ahead by one two three four five six seven uh, workers in total nearly finished with this lair and um, he's just droning up more and more and more but he was um, um, favoring the drone production for the gas income so he now only is started uh, with the second extractor uh, having barely enough uh, gas to uh, support a spire right now but on the other hand die star is now moving out he's got uh, quite a lot of hellions for hellions but only four hellions five marines uh, five marauders this might be not enough to deal with all of those circlings ukraine star is actually having and now ukraine star is moving out he will spot all those forces and he just needs to surround them but instead he is pulling back losing eight zerklings in the process a lot of those zerklings like we can see right now are in the red he is going for more um, zerklings in production having 14 more having a spire there in production as well he tries to go for a surround here with his remaining zerklings but he was not successful die star with the blue flame now finished putting um, ukraine star under a lot of pressure he's now even using his drones and uh, all the drones uh, which were used to uh, go for an attack uh, were just burned to death. Three queens taken out one after another and this should be it, the first game. This is a small push actually. I would have thought Dyster would just do a little bit of damage and that's actually it. But this first push was so powerful. The blue flame kicking in just in time and the decision making of Ukraine star uh, was not the best. And indeed he is realizing that he did a mistake saying for the oops, the smiley face, uh, laughing a little bit, uh, being ironic and GGing out of the game. So um, small, very, uh, not small, a very fast first game here on Metalopolis. So um, Die Star is up 1-0 in the Battle of the Stars, aka um, Battle.net Star Wars 2.0 and um, now it's up to him, it's up to Ukraine Star to um, take the second and the third game if he wants to advance to the finals. Other than that, uh, Die Star only needs to win one more game, so and I'm really hoping that Ukraine Star decides to play on a not non-Blizzard map. I would like to see Tardarim Altar, I would like to see Testbuck, and I would like to see Pon Re as well. So where is this going? I am really, really curious. And the lobby is not yet open, but very, very soon, I guess.